All right, China. Uh, we talk. I, I also talk sport, sports and sports. Mm -hmm. and, uh, pro team told me a while back aim for championships. They know they aim, aim for it. But what's mandatory season in culture, and that takes players over, over time. So, create a winning culture. Not with each other, executive. You have to have diversity of so to, to really affect, make the company successful. Right. Have a um, well, I to do that. Things that pop into my mind to ties of the board. You want to have, the board doesn't have together sporadically. You have a, a board that if it's a year or four times a year, you can get to know each other. So, so that, you know, that can't be a, a, a lot of people. Um, I think it's important when you have be able to have, have some time and get to know sort of on a personal basis. Um, a great, great way to, to um, collaborate is to learn together. And I think it's a, a good in learning opportunity board activities and so sort of can innovate and other. Um, and I think having a sub of personality, skill, background, function makes makes um, winning board does start you know at the time you know if the ceo is on, um or if they, um two separate is a lot lately right, right. is really really making sure that that everybody and just to have a winning set. really really what's the to create here? Here, a lot, a lot uh, at board dynamics, at management dynamics. A board is not all, and if we're um, uh, into into factions, management knows that it takes it, it takes hard. It's you know it's hard. Have the full playbook, right? The book and has the full playbook. So um, having the um, all in a agreement of the ultimate out may not always agree on how to get there and that. But if they are in agreement on the ultimate outcome, I think you and you know, have some level of personal respect and appreciation for each other. I think you can accomplish. Um, you can accomplish an awful lot. But I think a lot of organizations miss the impact that board dynamics have on the rest of the organization. And, I, and so I think paying attention to that is is um, is actually uh, quite important. I agree. And you know, one one way I put a lot of times is, uh, and it applies to not only the board but the company is, does everybody remember the why? that we're here for right. and you said at the outcome um, sometimes I think everybody everybody forgets you know we're not just selling this you know we're actually bringing this to the table by selling this right you know right. that's the why of what we're doing right. this for well and I think also you know the cultural piece is also really important Critical. if the CEO um, is really has a point of view and a vision of what I'm, I'm going to use my language. A more humane culture is like, and and it and has the data that we that is all very available that shows right. having a great workplace culture absolutely impacts share price, absolutely impacts the bottom line, absolutely impacts turnover. I mean, the the financial ROI of a great workplace culture is is undeniable. But the board has to be supportive of that and 
and in agreement. And so that's easier to figure out if, if the chair and the CEO are the same person. It's, it's a little more complicated if they're not. Um, but still, it must be done. You don't want an organization working on a culture that's going, you know, sort of in one direction when the board is pounding for outcomes that aren't incongruent, uh, that are incongruent with that, right? Yeah, no, that won't work. And I think you just got the, a new name of a, of a movie or a book, Absolute Impact. <laughs> there you go. And you've made it today. Thank you so much. My pleasure. It was great to have, be with you and talk about these important topics.